uh, when I used to do sales training, that was long ago because uh, in sales training you have to jump and uh, scream and do things like that and I don't have the energy nor the willingness to do sales training. But one question that I would ask people is uh, how many customers has your mother given you or how many customers has your father given you and people would look at me blankly saying uh, none, right. So my next question is uh, do your parents not love you? Do your siblings not love you? Do your friends not love you? Why do they not give you any business? It's because they don't even know what you do. They don't even care whether you know and you don't even care enough to tell them what you do. So if you don't have a say 90 second or a 60 second uh, sales pitch uh, and your parents don't even know what you're doing. You know, it's, oh, he's doing something in mutual funds. He's doing something in insurance. That's fine. They don't know their full details. Chances are they will not give you the give you any clients. Now this is true even when you are uh, dealing with other customers. So suppose you have a client who is uh, who is a good friend of yours who's been doing business with you for ten years and he's very happy with the kind of uh, mutual fund returns he has got or life insurance or the advice that you gave about uh, his uh, daughter's education or his son's uh, son uh, to buy which cycle he wants to buy. You have a very good relationship. You have even uh, considered going on holidays together, right? So that's a fantastic relationship. But if that guy has not given you any business, right? He's not given you any reference. What is the reason? The reasons are manifold. One is he doesn't even know that you're looking for business. He thinks, oh, maybe you're doing very well. You don't need business. Uh, second, you have never asked, right? You never asked him for business. You never asked him for reference. So he doesn't even know. Third, he trusts you enough with his money, but he does not trust you enough with his friend's money. He does not want, if things go wrong, he does not want to tell his friend, uh, to hear from his friends, Are you recommended this guy and he screwed up my mutual fund portfolio or my direct equity portfolio, right? Something like that. This is not like recommending a restaurant or a, a vacation, right? So if I were, suppose, a vacation organizer and I took a bunch of people, maybe 10 people, I took them to Corbett and they were very happy with what they saw in Corbett. They saw a, a tiger and an elephant fighting, which is once in a century kind of a thing or all that. It is necessary for you to collect the testimonials then and there, right? to say, wow, this is so fantastic. So record all that, keep it with you. So collecting testimonials is important, whether you are a tour operator, uh, taking people to wild safaris, or whether you are a fund manager, or whether you are an uh, It is nice to have all these endorsements from clients and testimonials and saying, wow, uh, this is what he did. Uh, it was very useful because uh, he had come to my house and he was speaking to my dad and he could force my father or uh, cajole my father into making his will. I could never have handled it myself. Whatever uh, customer testimonials, client testimonials or to say uh, my wife was not convinced that we have enough money to retire but he convinced my wife. Whatever, it need not be saying, oh, he chose this fund and in this fund I got 17.8% uh, returns. That may not make any sense because the testimonial by the time you put it would have been, in the, that fund would be giving minus 5%. So that may not make sense. You can still put it. You can talk about asset allocation. You can, uh, can uh, talk about portfolio sizing. You can, uh, you talk about saying, oh, he told me that 6,000 rupee SIP will also work. I was thought, I thought, you know, unless you have 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs, you cannot invest. He introduced me to the concept or uh, of a SIP or any of those things. Or uh, he came up and made a good presentation to our office. My office was very impressed with what happened, right? So some of these testimonials and also getting professional testimonials. If you can get some other uh, professionals in your field, uh, may not be doing your work. Like you could be a MFD and this person could be a fund manager and saying, oh, uh, I'm a fund manager, but my own portfolio is handled by XYZ MFD. Can it happen? Of course it happens, right? I have enough uh, fund managers who will uh, uh, be happy to give testimonials for MFDs, right? So we know that, we know all those things are happening. So collecting all those testimonials, uh, collecting video, uh, keeping it ready, you know? So for example, I, I, I'll again go back to the wild uh, example of saying, um, you took somebody to Corbett, so you created film saying, oh, this is what happened. We saw so many tigers, etc. So now that clip can go into Corbett, can go generally into what
what kind of trips I are organized and go into t about tigers or create one saying uh, what can you see in India and you say okay you can go here you can see tiger here you can see elephant here you can see uh, uh, whatever you know uh, a leopard uh, bear all these things are available so you create an India picture you create a Corbett picture you create an August picture so all that you can use those clippings similarly when you get testimonials from customers saying he chose equity funds well for me my daughter's marriage was completely funded by my SIP my retirement is peaceful because of this you keep collecting all those testimonials you can put it up on your own website you can create films you can use all that but at least start collecting testimonials from uh, customers and other professionals the uh, social media works very funnily sometimes it's useful sometimes it is not so uh, create a social media presence say good things but please remember that if you say controversial things like for example i talk about uh, uh, <coughs> i talk about uh, elections i talk about bjp i talk about congress that's not a very sensible thing to do don't copy what i am doing right so because people will get biased so a congress supporter may not invest with me or a bjp supporter bjp uh, super supporter may not invest with me because i criticize bjp or anything like that why do you want to lose business because of your political views don't do that i i am doing it and i may be losing business but uh, understand one thing i'm at the end of my career uh, and I'm happy to hold a very strong opinion on Twitter, but on my YouTube channel, I don't even uh, touch politics. This is the closest I'll come to touching politics. It's not, uh, it's not for me. I may create a separate channel for politics. That's a different thing. And I may be a disaster in that. That is different, but I should not allow my political views to affect my business. That's very important, especially in a country uh, like India, where uh, you could get, uh, people could say, oh, I won't invest with him. He does not like Sachin Tendulkar or Abhira. Kohli. don't take any strong views on social media but create a social media presence you have to be on Twitter you, uh, you if your audience is on insta you have to be on insta you don't have a choice you can be on LinkedIn you can be on uh, wherever create your own YouTube channel whatever right so all that could lead to more business for me I'm not looking for more business but this does lead to more business every day I get somebody saying can you handle my portfolio right so if I can handle if I can add hundred clients uh, in a year to my uh, to doing some business it will do very well for me right but you have to choose what is the uh, level of business you want what kind of business you're looking for but at least creating a social media presence is useful uh, take a stand on something which is happening in the business right interest rates are likely to go up likely to go down or you say look i'm very confused i met four fund managers two said interest rates will go up and two said interest rates won't go, go up i don't know what will happen but this is my view right you can do that kind of a thing but taking a stand is always useful but don't take a stand where you do not know why people are fighting if there is some <clears throat> CAA protest or some wrestlers uh, protest you don't know whether it is political stay away from it your polit like I am repeating your political views should not affect your business and it can only affect it negatively so stay away from such uh, such comments right uh, uh, if you have educational qualifications, if you keep adding like you did a certification course in uh, risk management or you did a certification course in uh, uh, asset allocation, anything, any of those things, you do a one day course, two day course, you did it from a good institute, uh, create those certificates, put it up in your office. These are also again uh, your uh, educational qualifications. So if you're a chartered accountant and you're an MFD, chances are people will listen to you when you talk about taxation if you're not a chartered accountant and you crib about oh your chartered accountant is giving you wrong advice uh, their chartered accountant will say hey these mfds don't understand taxation you uh, you run that risk right so be very careful be extra careful uh, whom you're criticizing what you're saying show off your qualification whatever it is worth uh, do all this and these are good ways to increase your business so this uh, could be just uh, all these things put together could increase your business creating your newsletter right all these things when you do together uh, and you would do it as per a plan and you do it you know every Wednesday I'll send a newsletter or every Monday I will update my blog every Tuesday I will upgrade my uh, YouTube channel right if you do it consistently persistently over a long period of time 
you will definitely create a brand i mean i have done nothing extraordinary but i have put in one video every day or two videos every day over a longish period this is just two years but uh, over 14 years i have done that in my uh, website uh, which is subramani.com i have not been updating it recently which is a shame but uh, yeah so you need to be consistent at what you are doing you do all this together it's a great way to increase your business it's a great way to be visible about what you are doing thank you